Wafa and Maha al Subai are sisters. They fled Saudi Arabia where they allege they were prisoners of their family and the kingdom's repressive laws against women. And we are our story, of course. Uh, my family, they not uh, trust us very well. So bad for us. And we have a group uh, for everything. According to media reports, the sisters secretly used their father's phone to obtain passports on Absher, a Saudi government-sponsored app, which is used to enforce male guardianship. The sisters then fled to one of the few countries that do not require visas for Saudi citizens, Georgia. But the visas would also have required a man's permission to travel. Once in the capital, the 25- and 28-year-olds began posting pleas for help under the Twitter feed Georgia Sisters. Part of the 1951 Refugee Convention, Georgia confirmed they've provided information about how to apply for asylum. But the so-called Georgia Sisters may not want to stay in the former Soviet Republic. They said online their family members had arrived to try and take them home. But Georgian authorities said no family members that could endanger them were in the country, and that the women have been moved to a center for asylum seekers. The case is reminiscent of that of Saudi teen Raf al Kunun. She was holed up in a Thai hotel, fearing for her life, until Canada granted her asylum. No one can help Cases right like now. hers and that of the Georgia sisters are again putting the repressive treatment of women in Saudi Arabia back into the spotlight.